We started off this morning with freezing fog and freezing drizzle. It made just a mess of the roads, but it also made something kind of cool. Well, sort of gross and cool at the same time. What you're looking at is a spider web that was actually covered in the freezing fog, so it's actually covered in a thin layer of ice. Again, sort of gross but also fascinating to look at at the same time. Check out this time lapse. Taking from the top of Pike's Peak, what looks like water is actually the top of the cloud layer that had us socked in in wintry weather for much of the day across the lower elevations, complete with the moonrise there at the end. Pike's Peak didn't get much in the way of snow, but we certainly did. The good news is, is that tomorrow we are going to take a nice and well-deserved break. Temperatures tomorrow getting back into the 40s and 50s across southern Colorado. We'll hit 50 degrees in Colorado Springs, 55 degrees in Pueblo. A little cooler out across the plains where they'll hang on to a bit of that cooler air. Temperatures only warming into the low 40s, but that certainly beats the temperatures in the teens we battled out there this afternoon. Now, we are going to be tracking changes, but they won't move in until tomorrow night. So enjoy the sunshine tomorrow because our next storm system moves in Thursday night into Friday morning. We basically get a repeat of what we saw this morning. Here's a look at 6 o'clock. As we move some, from 6 o'clock into about midnight, that's when we're expecting the clouds to thicken up. Here's a look at 1 a.m. And you see it right there on your screen. Those areas of blue indicating where we could see even more in the way of freezing fog, freezing drizzle, and light snow, which means Friday morning we are expecting another slick morning drive. Snow accumulations once again remaining under an inch, but just like we saw this morning, it's that freezing drizzle that really ices up the roads, causes some big problems. So tomorrow you should have a much easier drive into and home from work, but Friday morning it's going to be a slow go, so plan on leaving early now. Friday, we're also going to get some much colder air. Temperatures drop to 27 degrees before we spend the weekend in the 40s. The weekend actually looking very nice before our next storm system moves in Tuesday afternoon, bringing yet another chance for snow to the Pikes Peak region. In Pueblo, 55 degrees tomorrow. Enjoy it. More sunshine until those clouds build tomorrow night. 29 degrees with a chance for that freezing drizzle and light snow in the morning. 40s over the weekend, though, before we fall into the 30s Monday and Tuesday once again. Canyon City tomorrow, 50. 30s on Friday. We should see things dry out by the weekend with temperatures sticking around the 40s as we head through next week. But our next chance for snow will arrive Tuesday afternoon in Canyon City. Teller County, 44 degrees tomorrow. Friday, 33 degrees. And I do think that Friday we will once again see a bit of fog pushing into Woodland Park. Not lasting, though, as long as it will for the lower elevations. Over the weekend, temperatures in the low 40s, 30s, then Monday into Tuesday. So enjoy tomorrow. We get a break. Okay. We are going to do it all again, though, Friday. So what we had this morning, we'll see you again Friday morning. So be ready for be it. Be nice to be out of the single digits, though. It was cold out there today yeah. and just wintry, so the sunshine should be a welcome change tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much. Well, it's the showdown.